Okay, hello everybody. So um, right now we're going to talk about what is a linear map. What is a linear map in pictures, formulas, and words? So in formulas first, um, a linear map, let's say L for linear, uh, from some, let's say, um, Rn, oops, to some Rm uh, is a map. L map is linear if, well, not words. Um, L of a sum Cis, Vis is equal to the sum of the Cis times L of the Vis. Okay, so that's a really short formula. But let's see what it would mean, sort of expanding it out. C1, V1, plus C2, V2, plus C3, V3, etc., etc., is equal to C1 times L of V1, plus C2 times L of V2, plus C3 times L of V3. So this property is very special. Um, and it's called linear. And now, what, what are these things? I have to tell you, actually. The, where the ci are real numbers and the vi are vectors. In, well, they have to be in the input space because we have to feed them. And this is L evaluated at v1. It's not L times v1. It's L evaluated at v1 and then multiplied or scaled by the real number c1. Um, so this has to be, oh, so I left off the n. So these are vectors. They have to be in the input space. I couldn't put n because that would be the output space. You, and these vectors are get inputted to the function. So that's the input space. And so, you know, L of vi, well, this is now in Rm. So that's the output space. And so this thing is a vector in Rm and then we scale it by a number. And let's just see this even more concretely. So let's say we had um, 5e1 minus 2e2 plus uh, pi e3. Well, then this would be equal to, by the property of linearity, 5 times the vector L of e1, whatever this is. We'd need to figure out what that vector is. And for that, we'd need actually a formula for L, um, which we haven't written down yet. So I, like, for example, well, no, we'll write some down later. So plus, well, now I have to take minus 2 of the vector L of E2 plus um, pi times the vector L of E3. OK, so this is in formulas what's happening. Now, in one more thing about formulas, so then how to how to write down the formulas or a formula for L, if L is a linear map. Well, what I'm telling you is that actually it's enough to prescribe it on the basis vector. So I just have to tell you what is L of E1, what is L of E2, and what is L of E3. And I have defined L on all of R to the 3, right? So actually it's enough enough to say what are L of EI for the EI basis vectors. You know, so if, if this is a map from R2 to somewhere, then I just need to tell you L of E1 and L of E2. If it's a map from R3 to somewhere, then I need to tell you um, a third vector. OK, so in words, I would say this. In words, what is a linear map? Um, a map that respects linear combinations, linear combinations of vectors. Or I could say takes a linear combination of vectors 
to the map takes an input, um, let's say even a linear combination of input vectors, to a linear combination, in fact, the corresponding linear combination of output vectors. Maybe those are two attempts to say it in words. And now pictures. Pictures, what is a linear map? Um, the image is flat. Well, okay, those are words. So a linear map, let's say L goes from R to R2. Then it takes the real line and it sends it to another line. Okay, so this is what L does. If L is linear, then it, you know, it can't, this can't be some curve because a linear map is very restricted. It's very special. It sends it to a line. Let's say L is um, a map from R2 to R3. Then, well, it takes uh, the plane, R2. And let's say it takes this rectangle. Or no, let's even just look at this rectangle here. Where does it take it? Well, if L is linear, then it has to take it to some parallelogram inside of three-dimensional space. And, and then, in fact, it takes the whole plane to some plane in space. Okay, And so linear maps have flat images. And um, actually, they're going to be determined precisely by what they do to E1. Maybe it, maybe it stretches E1 out a bit and puts it in this direction. But then that determines everything, and also E2. So it's enough to look at what L does to the two basis vectors if its input is R2, or just to the one basis vector if the um, input space is one-dimensional. OK, so those are sort of some images. And so now we see a linear map in formulas, words, and cartoon pictures.